of the PopTech community for having welcomed me here to be able to talk to you guys about what I am so passionate about, which is bringing affordable solar electricity to the developing world. And I'm going to give you a bit of context as to who I am. Um, if, like me, you happen to be lucky enough to be born to two very nerdy German mathematician parents, and then, say for example, you get given a little solar-powered car for your eighth birthday, it's pretty inevitable that you will end up, like me, a major nerd, hanging out in a lab, most days going a bit giddy about solar technologies whenever you get the chance to talk about them. Um, the reason I'm so excited about solar technology is because of its immense potential to help solve two major problems that I'm passionate about. The first one being climate change that we've all already heard a lot about at this conference, and the second one being global poverty that we've also been lucky enough to hear a lot about. For me, the potential for photovoltaics to play a major role in reducing the use of dirty kerosene lamps and reducing the amount of money that people spend on expensive batteries is enormous. And I started thinking about this a lot, and I was so excited by this potential that I was somehow quite shocked. Oh, sorry, but the potential for electricity to help people gain access to mobile phones, television, vaccine refrigeration, um, water pumping, you name it, you can get it. That I was quite shocked when I looked at this graph and saw that off-grid applications for photovoltaics are actually not growing nearly as quickly as grid-connected connections in countries such as the US, Germany, Spain, for example. So about three years ago, I started thinking a lot about this problem and how I could play a role in helping turn that statistic around. Let's see that off-grid connection really go up to help make a difference to some of the two billion people who currently don't have access to electricity. Now, you guys might not think manufacturing sexy. Thankfully, there are people like me in the world who do. Um, so I get very excited about manufacturing and started to look into solar cell manufacturing in quite a lot of detail and realized that it uses really expensive equipment. You need highly skilled people for it, clean room environments, all these things that aren't really conducive to a developing country's environment. So my supervisor, Stuart Wenham, my, my good friend, Catherine Chan, and I started to think about how you could change the way that we manufacture solar cells. And we've started to look into a lot of new approaches, low-cost, low-tech approaches like inkjet printing, to create patterns on a solar cell to the negative and positive parts of it. What we've managed to come up with is the iJet solar cell, which you see before you. I don't have time to go into much detail, but I'm very happy to talk at length about it after this presentation. Um, basically, what we're doing is we're creating a positive and negative pattern using inkjet printing and then metallizing this pattern using one simple low temperature process that uses aluminium, which is quite a cheap metal. The benefit of this is that you can therefore potentially manufacture in developing countries, reducing the cost of photovoltaics in those countries and helping to generate local employment as well. Um, last week, phenomenally, we had a major breakthrough in this technology. Until now, I'd really been focusing on the individual parts of the technology, the metallization side of things, the inkjet printing side of things. And this year, we've just started to put it all together, as you can see in this chart. And the voltage of a solar cell, it's very exciting stuff, um, is a good indication of the potential of that solar cell. And just last week, we managed to make our first solar cell, iJet solar cell, that has a voltage of 550 millivolts, which is super exciting and demonstrates the potential for this technology going forward. Um, I just wanted to end on a on a bit of a picture. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys are like me, but you probably are. I have this period in history that I just wish I had been alive for. I just wish I had been there to watch the first man walk on the moon. And anyone out there who was there for it, I'm incredibly jealous. Um, I think it just demonstrates the amazing potential to solve technological issues. The fact that the United States was able to put a man on the moon eight years and two months after JFK's famous speech to me is remarkable and shows us what is possible if we manage to create that same level of excitement about innovation and technology that existed back then to address some of the really critical issues that are facing our world, like climate change and global poverty. Thank you so much.